Welcome back to Let's Play Day and Effort Two Truth. So we um defeated Cardinal Alistair. Cardinal. Yeah, we defeated Cardinal Alistair. And we're at the end, ready to start chapter eleven. And I don't think I've ever went here. Bartender is such a jerk. He's refusing to serve me because I don't have any money. What a rip off. Uh I assume that's a female. Yeah, but ma'am, that's how, um, you know, taverns work. Sorry, but I prefer brunettes. Uh, are you here for some food? Take a seat now. Someone will serve you. Yeah, I don't think anyone's a brunette. Unless you do count Eileen, but Eileen's not a brunette. I mean, I know there's Chelsea, but we're not going to have her for a long time. Uh, I think we just go up the Okay. I think before we do, I'm gonna show you. Uh, so, we have to equip. And equip the bag with crystal. So, you get Flaming Palace, Magma Shot, and a Volcanic Blast. So, Flaming Palace does Earth Chroma damage to all enemies with a chance to burn. Magma Shot does Fire Chroma damage. Chrono damage to the enemy. Volcanic Blast deals heavy fire chroma to all enemies. But yeah, Magma I think is one of the four. I think it. I think besides fire, earth, and dark, I think that's one of the four. Um, yeah, crystals you get in the story. Because the black crystal was from a room of ten decent. Got the root crystal as a prize. And we got that from the ship. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna change. Yeah, let's put that back. Uh, I'm going to put the imploding ring. So what now? I've got an idea. I know, we should go back to the market. I want more of those cakes we bought last time. Eh, fine by me. Do you think we should do something more productive? Eh, uh, what? It, okay, I guess there's a headlong. Yeah, we need to read that. What can we do? Pretty much, we're pretty much just stuck, stuck wing it at this point. I know, bud. 
There's still so much we don't know. We don't know. I wish there was some way for us to get more information. Hmm. Maybe we should ask Lee, Eliza, or Riker if there's anything we can do. I'm sure they might know something. Ah. Good idea. We should try to find them. Hmm. Then we're not going to the market? Hmm. Wanna go? Fine. I don't care. <laughs> don't worry, I'm sure we can come and buy some cake later. I told you. I do not care. Hey, don't get angry over this. Okay, anyway. All this arrested kid that priest test in. In an attempt to confer her. Confer her what? We just had some questions. Uh, keep your voice down. Sorry. Okay, so this one's just pretty much cussing. No bows, and again, no cape system. And I believe, like, this one, I believe, is about Chrome Exceed. Ah. Uh. Hey, everyone. How's it going, Paige? Not bad. There's been a few rainbows that caught my ear. Have you heard about girls going missing in different towns? I guess a little bit. But not so unusual. There are a lot of bands around. We capture. We have been captured quite a few times ourselves. You say that. You say that like you're proud of it. Well, what if I told you that people are saying that it's not a workout advantage, but it's your kidnapper? I say you're nuts. Yeah, that does seem a little bit nuts. There's no way one person would travel all all over each row just to kidnap one person at a time. Why would people working as a group would be more likely? Yeah, like a guild or something. That's exactly what they want you to think, and that's why it's a perfect crime. I suppose it's not impossible. Hmm, the scoop is so juicy, I can almost taste it. And now that the page turns on the case, it's only a matter of, matter of time before they get exposed. From this moment on, I should now dub this mysterious figure the D.I.D. Napper. And I believe this is the title drop for the series. And the guard just walked straight through Kai. Huh. Yeah, D.I.D. Napper. Which is actually a, um... Which is actually a mysterious figure. But yeah, it's probably a reference to, believe, the, um... Name of the series. Because, you know, this is D.I.D. Napper 2. Uh... What the heck's a D.I.D. Napper? That's gonna be the stupidest name I ever heard. D.I.D. Naffer. Huh? Damsel in distress? Sounds like kidnapper? Do you really need to explain it anymore? Oh, I get it. That's so clever. Is it though? Okay. Well, good luck on with that page. We should really be going. Okay. Until next time, make sure to keep your ears to the ground. Let me know if you find out anything more. You've got to be kidding me. I swear, the girl has way more, way more than one screw loose. But what if she's right? What do you think, Kai? That is not possible. I find her fear highly unlikely. It would take an organization of people to pull off an operation like that. Yes, of course. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, it's a scary thought that one person like that could exist. Indeed. Whatever. Whatever. Let's just go. Okay, yeah. We can't really do anything right now, but yeah, the any nap. And a second custody, but those women are gone. Look, there's Riker. Well, my apologies, assistance, but this area is off limits too. Off, is it? Princess Liliana's friends. Are right, here to see her highness. I'm afraid she is still unavailable. Yeah, it's gonna become pretty obvious why. Yeah, she's unavailable. Yeah, it will be obvious why she's unavailable. When we um, yeah get to that part. Yeah. We know. We we're actually hoping you can help us with something. Hmm. So you're looking for information regarding your seed. I see. Exceed? I see. I'm afraid it can't be of much use. But I may know somewhere you could go. Just off the north coast of Idra, there's a small island that houses the Chroma Research Center. Seriously? 
Chroma Resource Center. I've never heard of any place like that. Yes, it's highly restricted access. The center was built on top of a Chroma Spring and is part of a joint research operation between Idra and the Hetagrid Hetagragian Protectorate. They are funded to research the effects and scientific properties of Chroma. Currently, it is open only to members of the royal family and researchers, but... Um, please wait here one moment. I'm surprised you didn't know about a place like that, Aiden. As am I. There are certainly rumors of a Chrono Spring on an island, but I heard nothing about a research center. Perhaps they want to keep it a secret. Kai, do you know anything about this? Nope. Maybe there was something we could find there. Take this. What is it? It's a letter containing my sealed signature. It identifies you as guest of the royal family. And this should permit you access to the research center. That's... Are you sure that's okay? Of course. Of course. Lady Lady Elias and I owe you a great debt. After all, you've done so much for Princess Liliana. And who knows what might have been following her had you not been there. Still, I wouldn't want to be an intrusion on... No. Eileen Sosh. We'll leave right away. Thank you so much. You became a different person all of a sudden. I agree. We should go. I'm curious to see this place. If you go to Port Latovi, there should be someone there who can take you to the island. Please, take the elevator. I insist. Okay. Well, okay. Thanks. Maybe you'll be able to get somewhere. At least. I really hope so. Okay. And see, Latovi is blue. Anything in the inn, by the way? So, select the orphan gates. Oh, yeah. Five hundred G. I also see the. Oh, something about bondage, I guess. My boyfriend, my boyfriend said he has something fun to show me. I wonder what it could be. Yeah, we have to go here. And some rope. What tutorials do I choose? I just can't decide. I also see the screen looks a bit different. But I think it shows that it's getting darker, or at least it's more. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's a new. Okay. So, over there, there's a new quest, and you can get this one. I believe you would typically take this when you're um, going to sell a lawn after the CRC, but you can go here right away. If you want to. Yeah, we will um, do that later. After we do the CRC. But that quest is no talking. So let's go back to Latovi. Let's see. We got the chest. So just like where we got the Kamaris, we just talked to this knight. Ah! I see you have a letter from Riker, giving you permission to research there. I read ahead there, ahead there now. Okay. Open travel menu. So now we can go to the CRC. There's a Chroma Spring. Also there's Night. I was told to guard a path down there. I don't know why, but I will guard with my life. There's a food stand. Yeah, cake and nutritious meal. And nutritious meal is like 2,000 gold. And it's like 80% HP. I probably have research or food during the lunch breaks. It doesn't pay much, but steady income. You'd be surprised how often the researchers singe or rip their clothes while doing experiments. That's good misery, though. Thank you so much for helping me back at church. I can't believe the Cardinal would do something like that. 
I tend to place to use a cleaning research center. There's a lot of walking involved, but sometimes I find cool crystals with pots there, which makes it worth it. And I suppose that hint is referencing a um secret in one of those pots. The place needs to be heavily guarded. Knowledge is about you know. So I believe what he's hinting is there's a um pot in there. We won't be able to can't grab that right away. Do you have papers? Oh yeah, here. Oh I see. In that case. Go right ahead inside. And yes, this is just a cutscene. Ah! Forgive me, you're sorry. We don't often get visitors. We have this letter. Let me see. Guess of the Glashians. In that case, perhaps I can offer a quick tour of the center. We are quite busy here, but I do have some time. Well, actually, we. A tour sounds great. What? But Aiden, you guys kicked out everyone in the library. You owe me. Uh, that's true. Alright, fine. I guess it couldn't hurt. Wonderful. Follow me, please. Here at the center is the top of this island's chrome spring. This facility was built around it, so it'd be easily studied long term while also being heavily protected. But you can see the particles radiating. I think that's adding like truth or something. And yep, there's a Chroma Spring. I think these are like two Chroma Springs that you can see in the game. Although I think Malatina mentioned to have Chroma Spring. There are multiple other scattered on the continent, but none are well preserved as this. And I believe there is one in Linda Lindsay. And the ever was mentioned in Malatina, so I think there's like technically three. Yeah, this one is much better shaped than the one back in the Lindsay. Yeah, here's the mining territory supposed to territory supposed to do that. Quite. Well, let's move on. Here's one of the places where we test the effects of chroma various objects, though primarily in chroma crystals. Occasionally, we are able to produce some interesting results, but most of the time, the results are. Merely monochrome charge odds. It's exceedingly difficult to mix two elements in a single crystal, but we have managed to mix most of them by now. Fan finas with fascinating results. So, what exactly happens to the crystals you make here? Most of them are either put to practical use or sold off, if they are potent enough. We do keep some in the stock, too, of course, but those are off limits to visitors. Oh, now let's press on. This is a late addition to the research center. It has been known for a while that ions failed to access chroma while they are restrained some way. This facility is dedicated to finding out why. Any luck so far? Not a whole lot. However, we were sent a special type of rule from Molotina that has some curious properties that seem to drain ions specifically of their stamina. You don't say. Our lead researcher, lead, lead researcher in the field Hopes that it will help us solve the mystery, but given the limited selection of ions among our stuff, progress has been slow, according to him. Oh, did you bring some willing to test such as Elizabeth? Um, no, Professor. I am merely showing them around. Ha <laughs> ha, relax, I'm only joking. Seriously, though, if one of you is an ion, we could really use another volunteer. But let's say here hasn't been able to escape even the simplest tie she's been put in. Ah, uh, to be honest, I don't think she really wants to get free. Professor, I don't think. Feel free to come here, down here anytime, if you're interested. We can even offer payment. Hmm. I apologize, he is a bit asterisk. Let's just move on to the last location. And finally, here we have the archives. All of our research materials and past projects can be found here, as well as our database and registries. Don, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yes, it is very remarkable. I'm surprised I never heard of this place. Well, we do try to keep it closer in public eye. As the facilities as facil as facil as facil as facil is built in the Chroma Spring, 
It's better for us to keep it under wraps so that we don't get any visits from those who try to claim the spring for themselves. Especially considering how many unsavory guilds have been running around as of late. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, I do apologize, but I must be getting back to work. However, the records here are free for you to pursue. Please, stay as long as you like. Any friend of a royal family is a friend of ours. So many books. I'm not sure where to start. Well, it'll go faster if we split up and look around. Are you sure you're not just trying to run off so you can look all these books by yourself? Come on, give me some credit. I do have some self-restraint. I'll start in this section here. Eileen, Eileen and Kai, you should help too. Fine. Oh, there's not too much stuff. Yeah, okay, we do have our characters. I think we can go straight down here. Ah. There's a, um, something in there. You found the diagnostic pop I told. I don't know if that just actually spawns at that point. I think that only spawns in the epilogue, but diagnostic mob title increases the hit rate. Let's say what weapon it is, but it is a weapon for Eileen. And that expects every end. And yeah, for some reason it's named an Asian weapon. Even though it looks like it's a modern weapon. Okay, there's that man. Yeah, we're also gonna do this one later. I think it's graphics updated. Okay, so the reason we went down here first. I've wrote all these books, it's been long, but it's been so long that I've forgotten what's in most of them. Burn Swing Timber can be relatively harmless if you just keep your distance. So I guess it's mentioned that being near one can be pretty dangerous, kind of like how radiation and electricity can be harmful when you're close near it. It might look like a mess, but I have to all sort in my head. Oh, look, a pink-haired male. Okay, yeah, I can see over here. Ah, there's something inside this pot. Found the Gale Crystal. So the Gale Crystal... Um, it's a Wind Chroma, so it shoots Gale Chroma at enemy twice. Five. It's a double shot. And quick blast shoots Gale Chroma and increases user's AGI. And quadruple shot shoots four times. Although it does use 45 CP. So yeah, it's gotta be the most expensive um, ability in truth. So magma is volcanic. Yeah, it's a Gale type. Okay, so we just go... Oh, yeah. Something that's interesting. Here, this used to just be a... um. This just used to be a fireplace, but now it's a door. And, yeah, that door we can't access. It says it's locked. I think usually the game doesn't say anything. Help, I've ever started these war crystals myself. Thanks for asking. Ah. I'm researching the effect war chroma had on different foods. With some luck, I may discover a way to better preserve for long term storage. It seems the odd glitches with the crystals is fixed on this one. And you can still. It's a top of the crystal from downstairs. It's huge.
Ah, such so looks like they're pretty sure to see. I should take a closer look if I can find anything. Ah. Ah, I think I found something. So yeah, over there is the Exceed. A study, study on the effects of a seed users a human body. Let me see. Interesting. Celeste, pick a few more doctors in this section. We should all have a look through them. Sense warning, but if it's to help Celeste, I'll do my best. Thanks everyone. So all that stuff Kai told us was true. That is correct. Of course it was true. If I don't understand, according to this, Cardinal Alistair wasn't the first one to turn in one of the sponsors. There's over two. Why is it why is it being kept a secret from everyone? Sh shouldn't they make it public knowledge so that people know not to use them? Because they don't want to know. They would rather continue abusing power exceeds with no heed of consequences. And yeah, I kind of always have debated if Idra is even aware of this or if they foresee this. Because I did mention a bit earlier about, you know, Metroid Prime Free Corruption. You know, Samus, which as the um, subtitle implies, she gets corrupted by Faisal. And is issued a um, Faisman Enhancement Device suit. That keeps the um, fees and levels in check. But there is a flaw, however, where if Samus enters hyper mode, the fees on overreacts. And it is mentioned that the um, Federation did not foresee this when they have um, developed the PED. I'll have a look at this. It seems to be a registry of all known exceeds in existence. It details all those that have owned them, as well as who currently holds them now. You'll notice that for the most part, exceeds have belonged to the heads of noble families. If I had to guess, these those people probably don't use them too much. They're only used to represent power. Of course. Oh, that's true. If a noble family attained an exceed, they would certainly become more respected among the people. But on occasion, exceeds have also been given to powerful warriors and or soldiers, and the longer they've used them, well, I see. So the power of an exceed is really too much. But then why have an eye? Hmm. Well, I've also noticed your exceed isn't documented in this registry. As far as this research facility knows, your exceed doesn't exist. I've got an idea. Maybe it's not an exceed at all. You are wrong. It most certainly is. Kai, do you know where my exceed cut come from? No. no I do not. Yeah. Strange. Study shows that those who use the power of exceeds are more likely to become corrupted and transformed, like we saw with the Cardinal. But Celeste has had that one her whole life and never had done anything of the sort. Maybe that's why everyone wants it. It's different somehow. As I told you, that is impossible. All exceeds are cut from the same stone. They all work the same way. I have to think on all this. I'll start, it will start getting late soon. If we want to make it back to the port of Toby before dark, we should go. Tomorrow, we can come back and continue. Yeah, yeah okay. All right. I'm pretty new here, so I'm just go going for this Chroma for dummy section. I would say I'm to cop and murder research just because I choose to sleep here in the archives. I received a letter of Fia Garmin my latest vacation, but I'm too afraid to open it. Yeah, so this chapter I believe like may explore something about the exceeds. And yeah, something that's interesting about the exceeds is even though they um seem like an important have an importance on the plot i mean they're not really i mean explored as much it is essential assistance this place remains in our wraps the last thing we want is a pirate or guild invasion yeah i guess that makes sense but yeah, even though they are, like, important, I mean, they're not really, I mean, explored as much in Day and After 2. I mean, even Truth. 
I mean, you know, even in truth, I mean... Which, yeah, spoiler alert... Doesn't even go into detail with the Exceeds. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Latovi. Return to Port Latovi. Ah, oh, thank goodness you're back. Huh? Eliza, something wrong. Um, Princess Liliana, she's been taken, and is that the familiar music that we heard back of Altina? Princess Liliana has been taken? Huh? What? Taken? What? What do you mean? No. I left her for no more than an hour, I swear it, but when I returned, she was. Hey. Slow down, what happened? Was it the cancel? The cancel saying some suspicious rifting individuals were seen leaving the city. And and believe that they have kidnapped the princess. But it all seems that seems much too convenient. Didn't Liliana tell us the cancel wanted to evade Rift? Hmm. Yeah. And now they have an excellent excuse. The cancel has killed two birds of one stone, and now it's powerless to stop them. No. No. We can't let them get away with this. Maybe we can still stop them. Of course. I have my knights out searching as we speak, but so far, they have found nothing. The kidnappers have all but vanished. <sighs> but if they manage to take her to Rift, <sighs> then the cancel will probably claim it was done by Alliance's government. It will be war. The Riffians will not take kindly to such accusations. Here to help. We have to get her back before that happens. That's terrible. But I'm sure the Royal Knights can rescue her before anything bad happens, right? We'll do anything in our power. But what if that's not enough? We should help search for her too. Yeah, I think that's a bit above our pay grade. No. So I understand you're upset, but we should let the Royal Knights handle this. Uh, but, no. no buts, we're not getting involved in something we can't handle. Well, the boss letter remains that Princess Liliana has been taken from the country. And of course, if I were to send any of my knights into Rift, it would be immediately seen as an evasion. Huh? I see. Then... The far of you have already done so much for Princess Liliana me. I hesitate to ask more of you, but please, if you wish to stop the cancel as Princess Liliana does, I ask you to go to the Rift and bring her back before we are plunged into war. I can do this. Of course I'll go. Stupid? Hold on a minute. You want us to rescue a princess from enemy territory? I don't mind helping out, but that seems a little much. Well, well it's not like the first time we've done it. For once, that's a pretty good point. Indeed. A rescue mission of this kind may be easy to care by a few. Sending nine to attract too, far too much attention. Yes, my thoughts exactly. Are you, you sure you want to ask us to do this? Let's hear isn't exactly the best at code for operations. No, I can do it. Liliana is afraid. If we don't help her, then, then what good are we? Oh, well then. Sounds like we got a princess to say. I cannot thank you enough. Yeah, maybe you should thank us when we come back alive. Yes, quite right. Here, take some gold. It is the least I can do to make sure you're properly equipped for a journey. We got 3,000 G. I wish you luck. Seriously? What was that about? What do you mean? What does it have to be about anything? I just don't want anything happen, anything bad to happen to Liliana. Yeah. Sure, but. Something else is bothering you. I can tell. So, out of it, why are you so hell-bent on doing this? Um, I... Everything that has been happening to me lately, it's so confusing and I'm not sure what it all means. Somehow, I feel as though the thing Liliana has told us about are related somehow. Uh, you really think so? Think about it. Everywhere I go, it seems as though people know who I am. And they need me for something. And when we went to Malatina's, Arnor killed just happened to be... 
there. And when we happen to happen to be there. I don't think this is a coincidence. I think there's something bigger going on. This is what I have to do. I'm afraid that's what's happening in Liliana right now. It might have something to do with me. And if it does, then I have to make it right. Hmm. Hmm. You can say it's stupid all you want, Aiden, but it won't change what I think. No, no I actually agree with you. Huh? You do? Obviously. Yeah, I've been thinking that there's something suspicious about all this for a while now. You're right, something is really strange about all of this. I'm all for going to help Liliana, but we should be careful. It could be in our trap. Uh, I see. We'll have to be on our guard then. Okay. Right. We definitely don't want to repeat of what happened at Malatina, <laughs> which might remind you was almost entirely your fault. Thanks. Yeah, I think. Stop. I do not mean to interrupt, but I was wondering a person that the situation has some urgency. Should we not be on our way? Yeah. You're right. Let's make sure we have enough supplies to get going. I'm not really sure how we get to Rift from here. There's a port town in the east called Salalong. Ships often go back and forth between Deir and Malaz, a rifty and port town. Oh yes. Oh yes, a horror Salalong. Salalong and Malaz are sister cities, most like Capla and Montague. Montague. The difference is they trade one another quite frequently. Well, I guess that's where we're headed then. Let's take care of any take care of any last minute business we have here then be on our way mm. right let's go okay so our task is to head to um our test is at a salon but we do have to walk there so yeah we got some this side quest here. So yeah, I'm gonna probably do the CRC first, and then do no talking, and then the ever questing boxy boxes. And after that, we can continue the story. So yeah, we're almost near the end of the original story for the Alien After Two. So uh, yeah, next time we'll go to the um, CRC and do the challenges, which is definitely going to be a pain to do. And I'm not sure if I will be able to, yeah, show the video without the age restriction. Because that was a problem in my previous playthrough. But anyway, I will see you later.